What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis, including money, investing, the stock market, the fourth stimulus package update, and a stimulus check update. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. And remember the new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country that you need to know about here on a daily basis. In this video, we're going to talk about the White House and President Biden considering sending gas rebate cards, aka debit cards, or most people know them as, uh, well, they could just send them out as checks. Uh, because, well, you could see they're a little bit complicated here by the chip shortages issues, which honestly, why it would be a lot easier to just send them via checks and direct deposited, uh, which is how they sent the last round of stimulus checks. For most people, they did send out direct deposit, or I'm sorry, uh, debit cards um, last time around to several million people. Um, but we also have lots of state governors who are sending their own stimulus checks here as well. We have well over 10 different states now that have passed their own state stimulus checks as well. Some states even considering a second round of state stimulus checks here this year as well. That's right. Yeah, so we got a lot to talk about here, so let's jump right in. But first, have you ever wanted to learn more about your family heritage or wanted to learn more about your family tree? Then you should check out MyHeritage.com. MyHeritage is the leading global service for family history research and DNA testing. MyHeritage is trusted by millions of families around the world who use their service to discover new and exciting things about their family history. With MyHeritage.com, you can easily build your family tree and discover your origins. And you might even find new relatives, even if you don't know much about your origins. MyHeritage can find new family members and family records using their 16 billion records. And one of the coolest features I found was as soon as you create a family tree, MyHeritage begins searching for you. You'll receive email alerts with smart matches and record matches revealing new family tree connections, records and newspaper articles about your ancestors. How cool and simple is that? Getting these emails is pretty exciting because you never know what my heritage is going to find about your family and what family history might be uncovered. With my heritage, you can also repair or colorize old family photos to bring your family's history to life. And right now, MyHeritage is offering a 14-day free trial. With the 14-day free trial, you can enjoy all the amazing features that MyHeritage has to offer. If you decide to continue your subscription, you'll get 50% off. Using the link down below in the description of this video or the pinned comment down below. So click that link down below right now and check it out. Okay, so yeah, as you can see here, I have multiple articles here. Because the White House, the Biden administration, is reportedly considering sending gas rebate cards to Americans. You can see here from Fox News or Fox Business, White House considering sending gas rebate cards to Americans. Biden administration emphasizes it's willing to consider any and all solutions to ongoing inflation crisis. From the Washington Post here, uh, yeah, you can see here, White House exploration of gas rebate cards complicated by chip shortages. Administration officials look at fuel rebates, emergency powers of diesel shortages materialize. Yeah, that's right. That's why I've said it, it would be easier to just send them out via direct deposit or via stimulus checks, paper checks, however you have on file via the IRS, rather than sending a debit card. They did send out some debit cards last time around. Uh, you may have gotten one. 
I believe these were mostly to people who didn't have bank accounts last time around. So uh, if you didn't have a bank account, um, then the IRS uh, was likely to not send you a paper check or a direct deposit, obviously not a direct deposit because they didn't have your information on file, uh, but then they were likely to send you a debit card uh, in the mail. Um, the problem with these is that a lot of people threw them out, threw them out. Uh, yeah, there was, I, I believe, over, um, there were several million people who never got their stimulus check. In fact, I'll show you this headline right here. Uh, yeah, as you can see here, there was over 10 million people missing out on their uh, last stimulus check. And um, the reason for this is, is people either threw out the check in the mail or the debit card, or they moved, or uh, the IRS maybe doesn't have their information on file. So um, if you're not a non-filer, a non-tax filer, and you didn't fill out the non-filer's information, uh, maybe the IRS doesn't have your information. Yeah, so that could be a reason why. Uh, but nonetheless, if you didn't get your last stimulus check at all, um, stimulus check number three, or uh, you have to file a 2021 tax return to get that money. Okay. Um, if you didn't get stimulus check one or stimulus check two, or any of your dependents uh, didn't get any of the checks, uh, the IRS will still give them to you. You just have to file a tax return to get it. Even if you don't normally file a tax return, if you're a non-filer because you don't make enough income or for whatever reason, the IRS will still give you the money. You just have to file a tax return and tell the IRS that, hey, IRS, you owe me the money. You just didn't give it to me or I didn't get it or for whatever reason. Uh, even if you don't normally file a tax return, I, I still see comments occasionally that say, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a non-filer. I never got my tax return or I never got my stimulus check or for whatever reason. Uh, well, you can just file a tax return. You can actually, IRS will, you, there's tools I'll actually show you here. Um, you can file a tax return for free. The IRS will give you the stimulus check. It might it might take you some uh, uh, some time because the IRS is super far behind. Uh, but um, technically, a stimulus check is a um, tax rebate. Even if you don't file taxes, it's still considered the official name for it, or one of them is a advanced uh, tax rebate or uh, advanced refundable tax rebate. That's right. So uh, the stimulus check for the third one is uh, for 2021. And the stimulus check one and two underneath former President Donald Trump are for tax year 2020. Same thing with your dependents. And you put it on line 30, as you can see here from the Washington Post, to claim your stimulus check if you didn't get it, stimulus check one or two, file a 2020 tax return. If you did file a 2020 tax return already and you didn't get those checks, you can file an amended tax return. If you didn't get stimulus check number three, file a 2021 tax return. If you already filed a 2021 tax return, if you didn't get your check or your dependent didn't get your check, you could file an amended tax return. Okay. Look for line 30 on your 1040 tax form. Also, you can see here, if you missed getting your stimulus check and didn't take the check or credit on your tax return, you can still get your stimulus check by going to getyourrefund.org, uh, which is a free website. It's a government website. Um, and you can basically, this will file uh, your, you can get your child tax credits or get your uh, tax refund or your stimulus check here and this will basically file a tax return for you the simple way so yes the white house and president biden considering sending gas rebate cards or checks to americans hopefully they're large considering how large <laughs> inflation and gas prices are right now as you can also see here, we have governors starting to deliver their own stimulus checks here as well. We have multiple states that have already passed their own stimulus checks, some of which are starting to go out here already. 
Uh, I have a video here of stimulus checks that are going out in June. In June. I'll link you to that video here uh, in a moment. Here is some new information of new states uh, that have just come out with new information on uh, some new stimulus check stuff here in the last few days. Let me zoom this in here for you. Uh, Governor Phil Murphy from New Jersey announced a historic $2 billion property tax relief program. $2 billion. Yeah, that's right here. They said here, quote, that they announced the expansion of the Anchor Tax Relief Program, making it one of the largest in state history, which stands for Affordable New Jersey Communities for Homeowners and Renters, was announced uh, back in March, but they just expanded this program, which will increase the investment from nearly $900 million to now over $2 billion and will reduce property taxes for over 1.16 million homeowners and 900,000 renters beginning uh, for the fiscal year 2023, which is only here in a few months. Uh, quote, I am proud to stand alongside Speaker Coughlin and deliver two billion dollars in direct property tax relief and renter relief which will provide over two million rebates to new jersey households yeah pretty awesome we're seeing more and more states do this here it's not just new jersey i got a few more here uh but this is the type of stuff we're seeing here again this is basically like a stimulus check they're talking about renters and homeowners so <laughs> uh that's I mean, that's covering almost everybody. I mean, that's that's a lot of people, right, uh, for, for this state here. And remember, if you've been watching my show, uh, it feels like a snowball effect. We're seeing state after state after state after state uh, announcing programs here. Um, if your state hasn't been one of the states that have already passed, um, chances are it's coming soon. I, I'll get to a few more states here in a second. Um, but, uh, you know, New Jersey now, I mean, like millions of people here now, homeowners and renters, $2 billion. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. They say this puts us on course for working in middle-class families with $1,500 and $1,000 in direct property tax rebates for homeowners and $450 for renters. More than 2 million New Jerseys will see money back in their pockets. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's awesome, right? Yeah, 870,000 homeowners and 290,000 uh, plus homeowners. Uh, it depends on your income tax or income ranges, you know, and, and, and different things here. You can pause the screen here if you're from New Jersey. Plus 900,000 renters uh, with income up to $150,000 will receive $450 each year, each year to help offset the rent. Not bad. Uh, next up, the state of South Carolina. How much money you could get from South Carolina's income tax rebates? Yeah, that's right here. Check this one out. Many South Carolina taxpayers could get hundreds of dollars in a one-time rebate check this year. This one's a little different. Remember, each state is doing it differently. I have no control over how it works. Each state doing it differently. Uh, only South Carolinas who pay the state income tax will receive a rebate. But that is about 1.5 million people. About 44% of filers who do not pay state income tax will not receive a rebate. But 1.5 million people from South Carolina will. About 56% of tax returns are expected to get a rebate based on their tax uh, liability. For those getting a check, every bit of money helps. I wish I could get it sooner, but everything is 
is going to help here. Each return filed in 2021 will receive a rebate equal to the amount of tax liability on their return up to $800. So whatever you paid the state, you will get back. The rebates will cost the state about $1 billion. So the state of South Carolina giving checks back to 1.5 million people um, for about $1 billion up to $800. And each check will pretty much be different for each person. Um, I don't even know what the average will be. I don't, I don't even no one even guesses it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but 1.5 million people getting checks, South Carolina, and uh, up to $800. If you're married filing jointly, it says um, that's two different people. So there's still going to be uh, two checks there, uh, whether or not it's deposited uh, in, in one or not. But you're still going to get two two amounts there or yeah, I mean, it might be combined, but you're still going to get, uh, you know, the amount for two people there. Uh, so really, again, this is, it's basically a stimulus check. South Carolina doing it a little bit differently. Um, they're doing it only if you paid into the state tax. So a little bit different. Like I said, all these states are doing it a little bit differently. Um, you know, I can't control it. I'm just uh, letting you guys know what is going on here. Um, but as I said, uh, all these states, it really just feels one by one. Each state is doing something. Each state is doing something. <laughs> and next up, uh, the state of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer, um, just the latest information here. She has vetoed the latest deal which was a $2.5 billion in tax cuts, which she says was a, well, the Republicans say it was a sensible tax relief, but the Democratic governor, Gretchen Whitmer, says it was a hurried process. And the budget surplus in Michigan is $6 billion, $6 billion. I mean, that is a lot. That is a lot. Also, she has been uh, pretty veto happy, pretty veto happy, whether you, this, you consider this a good thing or a bad thing, whether you think the state needs changes or not. Um, you could see here, Whitmer's rate of veto is unprecedented in Michigan. In 2021, her veto rate was 17.6%. Now, note that the, the Michigan legislature is controlled by Republicans, and she's a Democrat. So you can see the disparity there. Before 2018, when she took office, no Michigan governor had vetoed more than 8.3% in a year. She has signed into law fewer bills on average per year than the six governors before her. But she has a plan where she has proposed $500 rebate checks for Michigan's working families. So instead of this, she prefers uh, basically stimulus checks instead. Uh, this, I do see this with a lot of states where a lot of Republicans uh, prefer tax reductions and Democrats prefer uh rebate checks or tax uh, uh, stimulus checks or whatever you want to call them. Uh, it's just a, it's a, it's just a kind of slightly different mentality. Um, whatever you prefer, you can let me know in the comments. Uh, but we do see a slightly different uh, ideology. Um, not all the time. Sometimes we see compromises and it, and it varies per state. It's not it's not all the time this, um, but we have seen, uh, we've seen some crisscrossing there. And, you know, it's, like I said, it's not straight across the board that this happens in every single state uh, because we have seen other states with Republican governors passing stimulus checks, tax rebate checks, and, and vice versa. 
But let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I will keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country. Uh, and there's going to be a lot more here to come. So make sure to subscribe down below to our YouTube channel. It's completely free to do so. Uh, this way you won't miss out on new videos that come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, after you click subscribe, make sure to click the bell icon that will appear next to the subscribe button so you get notifications when we go live here. Um, also, make sure to check out my heritage down below here in the pinned comment or the description down below, uh, which is a pretty awesome program that I love here as well. Uh, you can click here to see my newest video on $2,400 Social Security raises. And also here is my newest video on stimulus checks that are going out here in June for some states and other states here as well. Uh, as well as federal stimulus uh, checks uh, details. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.